We're looking at this hacker rank problem, Java STDIn and STD out. So this is basically an introduction, writing outputs and taking input, introducing us again to scanners. So we are going to make a scanner right here, and then we're going to use it to take in user input and then print it out here. We're given the task here, which is to read three integers from STD in and then print them in STD out. Each integer is going to be printed on a new line. We have our inputs and output samples. So this is pretty simple. You have your public static void main right here. So we're going to be working inside of our program only here. We have a scanner right here that's going to be made to take user input. We can see that we have a variable right here. It's going to do scan.nextint. So it's going to take one of the integers. Let's copy and paste this because it's going to be very similar for the next two. All we need to do is change the variable name. I'm just going to change it to a2 and a3. Now, after we take all of the user input, which is what we do right here. So the user is going to type in 42, 100, and then 125 in our console. And then once they type these in, we're going to want to see what they typed in. So we just have to print out these variables that the user input is stored in. So let's take this. I'll just paste it down here. So we're going to do A2 and A3. So remember, again, we have this scanner. We're not prompting the user for input. So they just have to know that they have to input three variables. Once they do that, we have 42, 40, or 100, and then 125 stored in A, A2, and A3 respectively. Then we have our print statements where, where we're gonna print A, A2, and A3. So all we need to do is submit this, and that should pass the code, and that passes all of our test cases. So that is how we would take some user input and then print it out.